Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just doing some chemistry in my kitchen. But you know what? I'm glad you're here today, because today we're doing the reaction rate lab. Before we get to the lab, one of the most important things you'll need to do throughout to collect data is to take the time of the reaction. Students in the past have complained that sometimes it's hard to tell when the reaction actually takes place, so you have to watch carefully. So what I'm going to do for you is a demonstration of the reaction, so that way you know what to look for when it's complete. Goggles on, everyone, and watch carefully. Ready, set, go. Okay, so this is the data table that you're going to be using. You'll find a copy of this in the Google Doc that is attached to this assignment. And for those of you who went through the background info materials, here are the materials that I'll be mixing together. Sodium metabisulfite, which you can read. There's starch from potatoes. And finally, potassium iodate solution. Ready, set, go. 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 Ready, set, go.
Ready, set, go.